it was kind of like a swear scream. I'm not going to repeat the word I used, but it was quite drastic. Just like, got it off my head like that. Just get away from me. I love it when the cotton seeds are out. They're so pretty. They're everywhere right now. It's also quite sad to see when they take flight because that basically means it is end of the summer. Although I'd say the end of summer, I don't know, it might go on for a bit longer because it's still absolutely roasting here in Edinburgh. Anyway, welcome to today's episode of the vlog. A new adventure, adventure everything. Right, okay, I need to tell you a story about this hat. I'll get to that in a wee second. But first of all, I'm gonna wee walk with the dogs up to the hill, up to the castle. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day. And it is the 2nd of August, 2018, which means it is the first day of the Edinburgh International Festival here in Edinburgh and I want to take you out of town tonight to show you what's on but the thing with this time of year is although it is hot now during the day it always always cools down at night so festival time in Edinburgh the Edinburgh festival I say to people it can be warm in the day but night time as soon as it gets dark along the Royal Mile it is always chilly it's always cold so you need to prepare for everything shorts t-shirts and heavy jackets and everything in between basically. Okay guys, I'm back from a walk with the dogs. I want to tell you a quick story before I get onto the next thing. Today is actually the first day of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, the Edinburgh International Festival, and I'm going to go up to the opening event tonight, but I need to tell you a really traumatic story first before I get to that. And it involves this hat right here. So this hat had been in hibernation for a couple of weeks in a cupboard. So I got my hat out of the cupboard, not thinking too much about it, whacked it on my head, Nice sunny day, I thought I could do with a bit of a cap, a bit of sun protection. But what I felt though, as I started walking though, I felt this kind of, almost like a hair was on my forehead here. And I just ignored it for a second. But then the hair got really um, annoying and like twitchy and I was like, what is that? What is that? And as soon as I went like that, I must have disturbed it. It being the word. It was a spider. And as I disturbed it, it moved from just being caught on my fringe here down onto above my eye and directly on my face and it was a ginormous one of the biggest spiders I have ever seen here in Scotland it was on my face and I just froze in time for a couple of seconds like I cannot believe this is happening the spider had taken up residence right here on my coupon once I realized like I needed to do something because there's a spider on my face right I did this weird movement where I went like that and chucked my hat at the same time like that just off my head as quick as I could and I swore really loudly and screamed really loudly as well. It was kind of like a swear scream. I'm not going to repeat the word I used, but it was quite drastic. Just like got it off my head like that. Just get away from me. And the spider hid under my hat on the floor. I really wish I'd been vlogging at the time because that would have been one of the funniest things you guys would ever see in a vlog. But um, I did film the aftermath though. This is a spider. That was on my face. <laughs> my mum and dad's business partner, my godfather George, got the spider. He doesn't mind spiders. I've got arachnophobia. I love nature, I love animals, but spiders can just stay at a distance, right? George handled the spider and he got it for me. That is a big spider, guys. Like, we do not have big spiders here in the UK. That is about as big as I've seen them. That is just a common garden spider. But wow, it was on my face. I'm traumatized for a very long time now. Anyway, I need to compose myself because we're going out to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival tonight. I have been on a diet for the last month. I think this traumatic experience has made me, um, has just made some kind of emotion come out of me that I need to get some real food tonight. The diet's off. Just gonna get myself ready and then we're heading out. This is the first time I've been on an Edinburgh bus in a very, very long time. Today on the first day of the Edinburgh Festival 2018, I am breaking all of the rules. So if there's gonna be a way to break a, a really strict diet, that would be the way to do it. 
that was bread meets bread uh, a hamburger place a famous hamburger place that i've never been to before first time ever and i highly recommend it really good really really worthwhile going there if you're in town anyway we're here for the light show i'm gonna go and have a beer first though another thing alcohol that i'm absolutely not allowed in this diet i am having one now this is the first beer that i've had for must be five or six weeks now that's like some kind of record cheers should be starting in a second though So that was the light show, the Edinburgh International Festival first day light show and it was pretty good. I enjoyed it, it went on for half an hour, we waited for about an hour before it started but it was good, it was really really good. And it was just a really really cool event and it was absolutely free as well, we had to get tickets but it was a free event, you just had to go online and get the tickets so we've got a whole month of craziness going to happen here in Edinburgh, I'm going to be a part of it for as much as I can, although I will be travelling after the first couple of weeks. But otherwise, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to hitting the road. The one thing I'm slightly confused about is the fact that there are so many hashtags connected to the Edinburgh Festival, the Edinburgh Finch Festival, and all the different festivals put together. I don't know which one to use. Into the Unknown, Edinburgh Festival, Ed Fringe. There's too many. There should just be one hashtag. That would be a lot easier for everybody involved. All right, so we're back home. The time is now... That was a good first night at the festival. Very colourful, very loud, very awesome. How do I feel after eating proper food again after having a whole month off of meat? I feel really good about it. I don't regret that, even in the slightest. It felt amazing. Anyway, I'm going to bed now because it's late and I'm tired. So until the next adventure, have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Prince says goodnight as well, look. Good night.